I love being black. I love being called black. I love being an American. I love being a black American. But as a black man in this country, I think it's a shame that every few years we get a change of name. Since those first ships arrived here from Africa that came across the sea, there were already black men in this country who were free. And as for those who came over on those terrible boats, they were called nigger and slave and told what to do and how to behave. And then, Master started tripping, doing his midnight tipping, down to the slave shacks where he forced he and great-great-grandma to be together. And if great-great-grandpa protested, he got tarred and feathered. And at the same time, the black men in the country who were free were mating with the tribes like the Apache and the Cherokee. And as a result of all that, we're a parade of every shade. And at this late day and age, you can be sure there ain't too many of us in this country whose bloodline is pure. But according to a geological geographical genealogy study published in Time magazine, the black African people were the first on the scene. So for what it's worth, the black African people were the first on earth. And through migration, our characteristics started to change and rearrange to adapt to whatever climate we migrated to. And that's how I became me and you became you. So if we're gonna go back, let's go all the way back. And if Adam was black and Eve was black, then that kind of makes it a natural fact that everybody in America is an African-American. Everybody in Europe is an African-European. Everybody in the Orient is an African-Asian and so on and so on. That is, if the origin of man is what we're gonna go on. And if one drop of black blood makes you black like they say, then everybody's black anyway. So quit trying to change my identity. I'm already who I was meant to be. I'm a black American, born and raised. And Brother James Brown wrote a wonderful phrase. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Cause I'm proud to be black. And I ain't never lived in Africa. And cause my great great granddaddy on my daddy's side did don't mean I want to go back. Now I have nothing against Africa. It's where some of the most beautiful places and people in the world are found. But I've been blessed to go a lot of places in this world. And if you ask me where I choose to live, I pick America, hands down. Now by and by we were called Negroes, and after a while that name was banished. Anyway, Negro is just how you say black in Spanish. Then we were called colored. But shoot, everybody's one color or another, and I think it's a shame that we hold that against each other. And it seems like we reverted back to a time when being called black was an insult. Even if it was another black man who said that a fight would result, because we had been so brainwashed that black was wrong, Till even the light black folks and the black black folks couldn't get along. But then came the 1960s, when we struggled and died to be called equal and black. And we walked with pride, with our heads held high and our shoulders pushed back. And black was beautiful. But I guess that wasn't good enough, because now here they come with some other stuff. Who comes up with this stuff anyway? Was it one or a group of black people just sitting around one day, feeling a little insecure again about being called black, and decided that African-American sounded a little more exotic? Well, I think he would be in a little more neurotic. It's that same mentality they got Amos and Andy put off the air because they were embarrassed about the way the characters spoke. And as a result of that action, a lot of wonderful black actors ended up broke when we were just laughing and having fun about ourselves. So I say, forget you if you can't take a joke. You didn't see the Beverly Hillbillies being protested by white folk. And if you think, that course you think, that being called African-American sets all black people's minds at ease, since we affectionately call each other nigger, I affectionately say to you, Nigga, please. How come I didn't get a chance to vote on who I'd like to be? Who gave you the right to make that decision for me? I ain't under your rule or in your dominion, and I'm entitled to my own opinion. Now, there are some African Americans here, but they recently moved here from places like Kenya, Ethiopia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Zaire. But not a brother whose family has lived in this country for generations, occupying space in all the locations. New York, Miami, L.A., Detroit, Chicago. Even if he's wearing a dashiki and sporting an afro. And if you go to Africa in search of your race, you'll find out quick, you're not an African-American. You're just a black American in Africa, taking up space. Why you keep trying to attach yourself to a continent where even if you got the chance to go and you went, most people there wouldn't even claim you as one of them, as a purebred daughter or son of them. Your heritage is right here now, no matter what you call yourself or what you say. And a lot of people died to make it that way. And if you think America's a leader on inequality and suffering and grieving, how come there's so many people coming and so few leaving? Rather than all this fine fault with America stuff you promoting, if you want to change something, use your privilege. Get to the polls. Come and support All the wonderful black Americans who served in the armed forces and gave their lives in all the wars, they didn't do that for Timbuktu or Cape Town or Kenya. They died for Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia and Louisiana and Texas and Virginia. Need I continue? And if you don't acknowledge that, if you don't claim that, then you're playing right into the hand of the white supremacists and the Ku Klux Klan who claim that they own this land. We went through the civil rights movement 
and Dr. Martin Luther King gave his life so that you might have equal status. We withstood the dogs, the fire hoses, the beatings, the bombings, the burnings, the maimings, the murders, and everything else they threw at us. God knows we've earned the right to be called American Americans and be free at last. And rather than you moving forward progress, you're dwelling in the past. We've struggled too long, we've come too far. Instead of focusing on who we were, let's be proud of who we are. We're the only people whose name is always a trend. When's this stuff gonna end? Look at all the different colors of our skin. Black is not our color, it's our core. It's what we've been living and fighting and dying for. But if you choose to be called African American, and that's your preference, then I'll give you that reference. But I know on this issue I don't stand alone on my own. And if I do, then let me be me. And I'd appreciate it if when you see me, you'd say, there goes a man who said it loud. I'm black, I'm black. I'm a black American and I'm proud. Cause I love being an American and I love being black. I love being called black. Yeah, I said it and I don't take it back. <laughs>